Hi guys, we're starting a new. Oh, she's on. She doesn't have shoes on, so I'm taller. We're starting a new vlog. This is the week of Christmas. Well, Christmas is like next. I don't even know what day. Weekend. Um, and we decided this is not. This is no good. I hate this angle. Um, we decided to start a vlog today because we're going to see an outdoor movie. We're seeing It's a Wonderful Life downtown at one of the rooftops. I don't know if we've ever been to this building. Yeah. Or we've never been to one of the rooftop cinema movies, which is what we've wanted to do forever. Yeah. Hopefully it's not like too cold. We don't know if they have heaters, so we're going to bundle up. Yeah. Um, so we're really excited, but we'll take you along and then we'll probably just catch up tomorrow morning. Um, when it's light outside and it's Monday, but we'll take you to the movie. We're really excited. It's our favorite. It's my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Not even Christmas movie. It's my favorite movie, period. Yeah. It's, it's so the, good. It's the best. So we can't wait. the shadow's coming from so ignore yeah um we went to that movie last night carly and i had a great time we did our boyfriends were so cold which was like my boyfriend is from michigan like it's cold and i was like maybe our wisconsin blood is just like pumping through us because we yeah. were fine i was fine i had a great time it was okay. like 10 out of 10 experience yeah i think they do them all year round but yeah. they do more during the holidays um so i would definitely do it again and the downtown location was so good yeah we can link the location we went to mm -hmm. downtown because yep. it was i feel like probably one of the better ones i think so i mean i want to go to the one at the row but we go to the row often mm -hmm. so this is kind of like a unique experience mm -hmm. Um, anyway, we wanted to like sit down and catch up quick before we go to the mall. Um, but this is the week of Christmas. So we have like some errands to run today. I have acupuncture later. I can't film in there. I was like, oh, I wonder if I could like show yeah. you what it looks like. But um, I don't think I can. But that's why I don't have makeup on because they put needles in my face. So I just oh, yeah. put, like, I don't put makeup on. Um, <clears throat> anywho, so... Carly's doing that. We have to go to Trader Joe's because we're doing our, what is it, our fifth annual cookie? Yeah, maybe fifth. I think it might be our fifth year doing like our cookie bake off that we do basically the night before we leave town. Um, so we are, like Carly and James are going to Boston. So we're doing the cookie bake off a little earlier this year on Wednesday. Um, I'm very excited. I hope I win, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm still eating gluten-free and dairy-free technically when I can. So I'm making gluten-free cookies. So it'll be... I don't know, like up in the air. Yeah. I feel like it might not turn out well, but maybe they will. Yeah. So we're excited for that. So we need to get like supplies and stuff because this was kind of our errand day. And tomorrow we're going to like try to get some content done um, before Wednesday. And then obviously it's Christmas time. So it's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. But we also want to mention, yeah, our mom was in town uh, last week. She got in Wednesday through Sunday and we had a great time. Mm -hmm. If we have any clips, we'll insert them here. Oh yeah, we went on the train. Yeah, we well, took her to the train. train this way. I have to look. Yeah, we took her to the Griffith Park train, which we love. It's like the best $5 you'll ever spend. And we went during the day, so it didn't have like any of the Christmas lights on, but she still had a great time. Mm -hmm. We loved it. It's so fun for adults and kids. Yeah, we think so. Every time we're on it, we're like the only adults that are not. No, there was a lot of adults. Children. There was the, that Without couple children? behind us. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, but I, we don't care because it's yeah. so fun. It's so fun. Um, so we had a great time. Oh, P twenty two died. Yeah, P twenty two. We oh. posted on Instagram if you guys follow us there. But the famous, like infamous Griffith Park mountain lion that we've seen in our driveway before. He like roams our neighborhood. A year ago, he was in the back our backyard, which is kind of like really far back behind our driveway. And we saw him right after the dogs had just come in and then he just moseyed on up our driveway and I got him with like photos of him right outside my bedroom window and he was massive and so beautiful. Yeah. And it's so sad they had to euthanize him. We were shocked. I know. Honestly. Truly so, so sad. Mm -hmm. Um, but we, yeah, so 
he died. Our mom was here. We just watched, we'll, we'll put this, I feel like a oh, lot yeah. of the things I want to talk about in our weekly favorites, which we haven't had time to film because we pre-filmed a bunch of like end of the year videos, like our best of beauty and stuff before she got here. So we'll have to find time hopefully tomorrow to do like mm -hmm. a weekly favorites and talk about kind of the things we dove into um, while our mom was here. Yeah. But yeah, we, we had watched a, a lot of TV. We watched a lot of TV. She loves TV like, like we do. We, like we do. Yeah. Like just as much. Like it was just hard to find your match. With yeah. Because <laughs> you guys know we watch so much TV. Mm -hmm. um, like network television. But this was yeah. more mostly Netflix and HBO Max. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we're really excited. It's the week of Christmas. It's absolutely crazy. Um, but we'll obviously take you along this week. We're going to the mall. I have to do a return at Gap. And we are going to pop into Target because I need some cookie things there. I don't think Trader Joe's will have. And then I want to look at like basics at Uniqlo, like long sleeves, because I'm nervous about the weather in Boston. I haven't been in cold weather <clears throat> in five years. Mm -hmm. I think it's been five years since I've spent a Christmas anywhere cold. I think the last time was Michigan. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we did go to like Arrowhead a, a while ago. Yeah, like that, four that years was cold. Ago. Mm -hmm. But um, this is going to be colder. So I'm a little nervous, but it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be good. Just be cool. Okay, we just got a Trader Joe's and it's so busy. It's the so parking busy. lot is so full. So it was just luck. Yeah. right now oh my god look at it in the back i'm done <laughs> it's so short <laughs> she didn't even dry it hey you guys happy tuesday terry says happy tuesday terry is here tommy just left so figured he'd want to sit with his mom he usually is oh, by tommy's kisses. side at all times so i said oh, we get to hang out with terry yeah now he likes to sit in between us or chairs push yeah, together push together for him okay Okay, um, so yeah, it's Tuesday. Carly went and did the sauna this morning. Yeah, I forgot to film it, but I have a clip I sent my friend filming it this way, so maybe I'll answer that now. But we love this place by our house. It's like so nice, so clean. Um, like if you buy a package, it's pretty affordable. It's like attached to a juice bar. Yeah, and since I started doing the sauna, my headaches have improved, and I don't know if it's correlated, but... Again, my functional medicine doctor told me to do them because this was all caused by COVID. So hopefully there's like some correlation and the sauna is helping the detox. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm going to do it again after like the holidays, mm -hmm. after all the indulging. Um, but yeah, I love it too. It's really nice. So we're just sitting down. Um, we're going to do a lot. We have lots of emails. We hit a roadblock <laughs> with our um, EDP project for Dyad. We have to find new packaging, which was really frustrating because we had everything like picked out. But I, what is giving me like the shadow? Yeah. Maybe it's the phone. I don't know. Maybe. So um, we need to do a lot of emails regarding that project today. Um, yeah, we have a lot to do. And then we're going to film some TikTok reels. And then later tonight, we're going on our second annual Table 22 Holla Dinner. It was very impromptu last year. We went to Superba for the first time, which is a place over by us that we love, one of our favorite restaurants. And we went, it like, you know, that week in between Christmas and New Year's when like everything's just, you, it just feels like a vacation, mm -hmm. but like very like lazy and you're home a lot. And we went to Superba and we said, oh, this is like our holiday dinner. And we just had a great time. And so we kind of made it a thing and now we want to go out to dinner every year and James and Carly are going to be in Boston um until like right before New Year's yeah, I think the 28th yeah so we thought it would make more sense to do our dinner um before they leave and like we said our cookie ex our cookie bake off is tomorrow so we're going tonight which will be fun a fun way to break up the week um Tommy just left to go do some Christmas shopping I wish him luck <laughs> Trader Joe's was packed yesterday as we told you guys 
It's the 20th. Yeah, it's the 20th. Um, so we're getting closer and closer. But yeah, we'll check in in a little bit um, after we film and stuff. Okay, we're back. We're still sitting here working, but we made a little snack. We have our gluten-free bread from Traders. And then we saw Baked My Alyssa on TikTok add um, chives. We've never tried any of her recipes and that was amazing. Yeah, she added chives and dill, like freshly chopped, to, to her avocado before putting it on toast. She also did lemon juice. We forgot a lemon, but we did chives, dill, and then the Green Goddess seasoning from Traders mm -hmm. and salt and pepper. And I added red pepper flakes. It's good. Right? It's really good. I think it could use that lemon. Besides yeah. that, it's really good. It just makes the avocado more flavorful. Quick vlog update. Carly's enraged. I'm trying to stretch the sweater that you guys saw shrunk yesterday. And Britta said she found an article that said to mix it with conditioner, like water with conditioner, soak it, and then wring it and stretch it. And I stretched it like an hour ago. And I'm like, I'll stretch it again in a little bit because it's still damp. And I just feel like it's shrinking back into place. Like something is wrong with this. So if you have any tips, leave them down below. With this sweater. Also, so as a quick update. <laughs> a quick update we did our makeup for dinner tonight did a couple reels we need to take the dogs out i love this eyeshadow i it's it's a lab sample from a vendor um for an eyeshadow product i worked on that this one was like a pass like it wasn't moving forward and i love green eyeshadows so i was like can i take that and she was like yeah go for it and it i pretty. totally forgot about it and now i'm gonna wear it every day because <laughs> i'm obsessed it's like Honestly, this sounds weird, but it's like the color of our eyes because it's mm -hmm. green, but it has a little bit of blue, um, and that's kind of like how our eyes are. So I love this eyeshadow, and I don't think we'll ever launch an eyeshadow palette, but I hope yeah. someday someone launches a color. It is really like pretty. This. I just used the um, ABH Nouveau palette and mixed mm -hmm. a few that's shades. That's pretty too, yeah. This is like a wet-dry formula, so I... You guys know the formula, the type of formula. Are you wearing rosy beige? I am. Same. It's the best wash. Get his back leg. Show them how he poops. Where is it? Oh, do you guys see it in the air? Silly boy. Oopa. Terry. Hey. Terry. Terry. <laughs> it is so nice out. Are you going to vlog in Boston? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, some shots. It's so beautiful out. It's crazy. We heard it was gonna warm up. It's warm. It's not not breezy at all. Not breezy at all. You don't even need a light. Breezy, jacket. breezy, breezy. What's that from? And breezy. Friends. Friends? Monica. She's not breezy at all. <laughs> we know this. I'm breezy. <laughs> Okay, we just got back from our walk. We got the most exciting package. Our friend Nick, he's a really talented chemist and he's formulating our second clean coats product. And so we just got the first submission. I won't show you too much, <laughs> but we're so excited to try it on the pups. So we can't wait. Hopefully we can launch this, I don't know, by mid 2023. Who even knows? We'll see. Yeah, that'd be nice, mid-2023. Yeah, What's our, that'll be our goal. Yeah, we have to try it. We already um, got some packaging samples, so we need to try it, test, like, prelim compatibility. And, yeah, we're super jazzed that this came before Carly left for Boston, so we can try it on the pups. We just got ready. We're going to dinner in a few minutes. We did a fit check, so look out for that on TikTok. Terry's here. He's here. Sweet boy. Call it cold. Really, really cold. How would you rate the experience? Um, well, I mean, I love the company. I love the holiday dinner. The atmosphere and service was fine. <laughs> Acceptable. Well, the atmosphere was nice. Acceptable. The atmosphere was nice. The service was okay. Food was I good. I had my pants. Food was, good. So food was definitely good. good. Food is very good. It's cold. It was cold inside. Yeah, food was really good. I would rate my bowl a t nine out of ten. I would rate my pizza maybe like an eight, maybe a seven, seven and a half. But they're not a pizza place. Like I, I think. No, it was good. I just had better margarita pizzas, but 8. it was good. 1. 
Okay, the fries okay, were I'm amazing. I'm actually going to go with 8.8 .8 for my bowl because I needed a little more red onion. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do 7 for my pizza. Babe, is yours a 10 out of 10? The falafel wrap? The falafel wrap was like unbelievable. He said it was. I would definitely rate it like uh, nine point four. Honestly, it was wow, for a vegetarian. Really high. It was Wait, so if we can do points, unbelievable. Then I'm gonna do seven point five for my pizza. But yeah, What's your overall, food? I think it was good. But I said it was definitely like a summer daytime place, like somewhere I would only want to be in the warm weather and maybe a little more casual than we look. Yeah, like, but that's fine. I don't care about that. No, but I'm... There were some people that looked nice. Yeah, I'm saying we could wear, like... We're sweatpants. wearing jeans, Carly. Who were... were when do we wear sweatpants? I don't know. <laughs> it's dark. It's really dark. You guys can't see us. We'll see you at home. Hello. Happy Wednesday. December 21st. Carly's not feeling great today. It's kind of a bad headache day, but it's okay. I will feel better again. Yes, for sure. We have just been kind of doing computer work this morning. We just put makeup on to film some um, TikToks for Dyad. If you guys don't follow our Dyad Candle TikTok, we're, we started this series where we kind of give like business tips or kind of like the order of to-dos when starting a small business. Um, specifically, well, some things are specific to, to fragrance, candles and fragrance, yeah. but some things are just kind of like how to start a small business since we've started two now. So we, we're not experts, but we feel like it's helpful. We feel like we know, I mean, we worked in this industry too for seven years. So maybe we're long experts, time. I don't know. I think we are, but you can always, you can always know more. Yeah. But this is just what we know. So we wanted to share. Yeah. But I'll link um, our TikTok down below if you guys want to follow, if you're interested at all. The video seemed to be doing better than like our normal dyad reels and TikToks. Um, but yeah, we thought that it would be a good way to like connect with people over there. So we filmed a couple of those. Um, my sweater is still, I don't know what to do. If anyone knows how to get wool to not be shrunken, like I feel like I stretched this th like four times yesterday while after it soaked in conditioner, which is what yeah. we've read. And it just goes back into the size it is. I'm feeling really sad about it. I like spent the no, money. I had like a customer service nightmare too. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I did start like, sewing earlier because I had a I hole wanna, in like a brand new shirt. I don't want to throw them under the bus because I like a lot of Uniqlo products, but they basically said they couldn't help me and yeah. I could return it if it wasn't washed. And I was like, I did, but I followed the care instructions. So I'm not getting any money from them. <laughs> so I need to figure out how to make it stretch. Yeah. Like I'm at a loss. Yeah, so some people, some of them will have a tip, I think. I have yeah. confidence. Um, and then we are going to go on a walk because it's so nice out and hot today. It's like in the 70s, which is crazy. Um, and Carly needs some fresh air for sure. Uh, and then we're going to watch Miss Emily in Paris. I'm, I haven't read anything on season three. I'm sure either. people have already binged it because I know that we generally watch it in a day. But mm -hmm. since we have, like, I have stuff to do, I'm leaving tomorrow night. So I feel like there's a lot. But I'd love to finish it in, like, the next 24 hours. Yeah, but the boys won't want to watch it. So I think yeah, we'll just have to watch true. a couple episodes. And then we have our cooking makeup. Did we tell you guys that we're both doing almond? Mine are gluten-free, though. Yeah, that's Actually, right. oh, no, they're not vegan. Or, I mean, they're, I think, is, dairy, is butter dairy... I literally don't know because in the recipe she said you could use coconut oil if you're trying to make them vegan too otherwise no, just use butter, butter dairy yeah, and I was like well I'll just use butter like butter and eggs aren't dairy they're just not vegan yeah I don't think they're dairy so the cookies I'm making aren't vegan but I think they're dairy free <laughs> and yeah. then they also are gluten free yeah so we'll see I'm so excited we do this every year um I'm excited to see what the boys come up with but yeah, so we're doing that today, and then we're doing our gift exchange later today as well. So we'll just, we'll check in. cookies let's see these are these are james twix cookies nope redo you're gonna have to redo the video no i think that's what he said they were 
What are they? Yeah, I changed them. They're, uh, it's a shortbread cookie with a chocolate toffee topping. Oh, okay. Shortbread toffee topping. Um, these are Tommy's Ooh. seven layer bars. Delicious. These are my almond cookies and then Carly's almond cookies with raspberry. So we're going to do what we usually do, try them all and rate. Okay, update. Tommy won <laughs> with his cookie soup. We had it's to eat pizookie. with a spoon. It's a pizookie. I rated it last because it's super rich, but if you like butterscotch and chocolate and like really rich cookies, you'll like it. I'll do a blog post with all the recipes. Sorry, bud. Um, James's shortbread was really good. The topping was also really rich and the presentation was left more to be desired. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carly and I had great presentation. I actually love the flavor of hers, but they're super grainy because of the almond flour, but everyone else had no problem with the grain. They're gluten free. There's yeah, they're... actually almond flour and coconut flour. And they weren't that grainy. Yeah, I thought they were grainy. So we just had differing opinions this year, but overall, I still think we did a good job. Strong.